I'm pretty sick, right? This video is going to be pretty concise just to make sure all this stuff can still apply and stay useful in the next few months. The developer updates a lot, and just to keep everyone on the same page, this video was made with the early Steam releases in mind. Let's start with the character. You have a ton of oppressive options from round start, but keep in mind what your opponent can do as well. Character range is super important here. Typically, your opponent's going to pick an option that you can predict as you start getting more hours on the game. You can take advantage of this by cycling through the best round start options based on the character they're playing and understand how many of the opponent's options you would lose to. Don't be afraid to play defensive initially. Options with low commitment like just walking backward don't really lose anything and are in the game to discourage mindless attacking. One of your main round start options is Horizontal Slash, which lets you win over pretty much any attack ninja, wizard, or robot is going to throw out, and even a few defense options like walking back if you press draw. If you think you're going to attack as Cowboy, blocking's way safer. It's a commitment, but if you learn to get in your opponent's head before they even press anything, it'll be way easier. Dash can also be used as an advance during round start, but it's used in this context to punish a whiffed move and should probably be reserved only for when you're reading someone you play often. Mania's first interaction and reading a subsequent burst is the key to extending your initial combo into the 10 minute range. This stuff can seriously go on for that long. Once you've got the hang of that, you're going to want to get an understanding of basic fighting and fundamentals as different as this game may be to a traditional fighter. Yomi makes this a bit more simplified with its gimmick though, as it really makes it obvious whenever you're doing stickman rock paper scissors. From here, the sky's the limit for cowboy. This game is a bit of a special case when it comes to how I can really showcase combos since they're so free flowing and obvious in this game. However, I did prepare these absolutely raw cowboy move flashcards. First up is Dash, which I previously mentioned to be a decent round start option in quick advance. Teleport is best used in an air extender, but it's pretty easy to read. Be careful. Ah, silly me, I dropped the video! Yeah, it looks like I made these awesome graphics a few days too early. As of February 11th, 2023, Ivy Sly, the developers, added Warp Stance, an easy mix-up tool and way past good round start 50-50, with the intention of giving Cowboy more fun mind games. Yeah, I'm definitely with the majority in saying that this just kind of gives Cowboy more options and busts into an uncontested level, but this is probably going to be changed soon, so I'm not even going to make a graphic for it. Back to the video. Horizontal Slash is your main round starter, like I said before, safer with draw. Pretty good combo tool. Use Vertical Slash to extend on ground or quickly strike and apply pressure in midair. Upward Swipe allows you to hit lots of other moves off of it, potentially allowing for a really cool combo. Stinger has mostly niche uses, but it can be used to break armor since it has so many active frames. Downward Cleave lets you regain your air options mid-combo by sending you back down to the ground. Pommel is one of the two fastest hits in the game and works as a great option in close range rock paper scissors. Ankle Cutter is Horizontal Slash but a low, and also has some vacuum properties, which are pretty useful sometimes. Grab is best used in conjunction with Pommel and Scramble RPS, and extends combo after air teleport. 3 combo lets you convert from ground to air, but it's very prone to DI and is pretty weak as of right now. Lightning Slice lets you convert off of attacks with huge knockback, but also suffers from DI the same way. Lasso lets you extend with pull or shoot dodge, but also serves as a stylish ender if you reel or shoot. Impale can be extended from a thousand cuts, but is little else besides that. Gun Throw is one of your most stylish combo extenders, but is terrible if you lose your gun. Quick Draw is a great way to force a 50-50 from any range you want really, and can even extend combos. Backslash is a currently weak anti-air, but can rarely be your best option on defense. Temporal Round's a long-lasting pressure tool, but you can't spam it anymore. Two in a row. 1000 Cuts is huge, it's entirely burst safe if you choose block, and is 9 seconds of pure privilege. Instant Teleport. Same grab loops, different day. Alright, that's all the move overviews. But you should keep in mind that learning Yomi Hustle, or any fighting game really, comes best from practice and understanding of the game's neutral state. This game has definitely been one of my favorites in the past few months, and I think it's really easy to learn. If you've already been playing this game since before the Steam release like myself, I hope this helped you to improve even more. It's really fun to watch yourself get better at a fighting game as time goes on, so get out there and hustle!